whereby man can live in peace and harmony in this turbulent world. This was supposed to be the concept yeah. of God. Only concept. Either from the Swami or from me, the concept of God in Hinduism, the concept of God, not about solving the problem of the world. That's another topic. That's another subject. Give the first a chance. Uh, Mr. Dear, I'd like to find out from you. Uh, your books say that uh, the, the word Allah uh, was used by the followers of by, uh, by the followers of the word Allah by by who by the followers of Jesus. Uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> by 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 all the Semitic religions. Yes, by I Semitic. I mean the religion of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Yeah. The word for God Almighty is Allah. That's in my book. Yeah. So my question is, uh, how come only the followers of Ishmael have managed to retain the name Allah? Where did the name Allah get lost by the Jews? Yes. And I show you. You see, even in the Bible as the Christians had it. You have the Bible here. And in the Bible, if you have, you get one by Reverend Schofield. Translation of the King James Version by Reverend Schofield. And in his first chapter, first verse of the Bible called Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 1. You see there it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. That's the first sentence of the Bible. Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. Now, we have a commentary. It has a commentary. Reverend Schofield, backed by eight DDs, not D that's DDs, doctors of divinities. Eight DDs. And he gives an explanation that this word God in the Hebrew language is Elohim, which is a uni plural name. And also in Hebrew, El and Elah. And he spells the word Elah. Alternatively, as A L A H. As long as I was reading Ella, Ella, E L A H, E L A H, I couldn't see the connection. That is Allah. But this Reverend Schofield, I have the Bible. If you like to come along and see, I have a photo slide of that Bible. I give it to you. It says A L E L A H. Alternatively spelled as A L A H. I said, right. If it's A L A H, is Allah. You say Allah, I say, look, say Allah, my language, my language I want you to pronounce as I want you to pronounce. You see the English language? As the Englishman wanted me to pronounce, I pronounce it. Because when I went to school, at the primary stages of my schooling, I came from India, I didn't know A, B, C, D, I didn't know what a white man looked like. Wallah, I don't I didn't know anything. I was like a raw barbarian coming from India into South Africa. Started with A, B, C, D, Kakha, Ga, Alep, B, T, S, A. At the age of nine, I started four languages. One time. Learning here, here in South Africa. So at school now, they teach me beauty bats, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty rat, and beauty nut. Beauty? 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 What? What? <laughs> This is funny. I'm telling my teachers, sir, this is very funny. You know, it's a beauty bath, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty nut. Beauty? Put. No, 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 no. It doesn't agree with me. They say, do that. Don't try to be too clever. Hmm? Beauty is put. And if you don't say put, you won't pass your exams. So I said put, and I passed my exams. So I said, look, A L A H is Allah. Say Allah. You try, and you say Allah. I say, no, don't try again. You say Allah. I say, not Allah. Say Allah. You say Allah. So look, I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. You see, the word is Allah. So in the language of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, the word for God Almighty is Allah. Jesus Christ, supposed to be on the cross, he cried out with a loud voice. He said, Allah, Allah, lama sabachtani. Allah, Allah, lama taraktani. In, in Arabic, in Hebrew, Allah, Allah, lama sabachtani. In the, in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, it speaks about John the disciple. He saw a vision in heaven, angels singing in heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I'm asking the Christians, what is alleluia? Hmm? People pray. Is that means who is hippie pure? Say so, yeah, God made another star 40,000 40, times brighter than our sun. So what the angel said? 
Hebi bure, alaluya, alaluya. I say, is that what they're doing? I said, no, no, no. I said, very alaluya. The first time these people, the Christian, came to the city hall, lectures are fine, and they said, alaluya, alaluya. So I explained what alaluya is. No more alaluya. <laughs> Nobody says alaluya anymore. Because this, you see, you are saying, ya Allahu, alaluya. Is ya Allahu, ya Allahu. Ya Allahu, ya Allahu. This is what you are supposed to be singing. The angels sing in heaven. Ya Allahu, ya Allahu. Ya Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. This is it. I said, you, that's what you're saying. Hooray. Congratulations to you. You are still thinking of Allah. Ya Allahu. Allahu, Ya is Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. So, this word is still in the Bible, in every Bible, in every language. In the Zulu Bible is there. In the Tata Bible is there. There is not a Bible in which this word Allah is not there. You come along and I'll show them to you. Yes, my son. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay, you said that... Um, um, if you said that you know you have the, your own concept of God, and then your own concept of God, you get that you've got attributes that uh, are referred to by you from the Quran. What about the religions that are not having references, like the African religions? Do you think that, that they are in the right direction? Secondly, uh, so we have one at a time. One question at a time. We'll allow you the second question. So make me, no, no. Stay you, you, stay <laughs> you, just stay you can come back you. again behind the queue. You can ask the second question. We'll give you that. Right. But let me answer the first. First. I'll answer that first. Yes. The, the, my son is asking, what about the African religions? I says, you know, actually the African religions is no different from Islam. Allah, the concept. I'm talking about the concept. I'm asking an old Zulu. This unveiling nangi. For God Almighty, this is unveiling nangi. Unkulunkulu means the greatest of the greatest, not a name. Unkulunkulu means the biggest of the biggest. The mightiest of the mighty, it's not a name. The name for God Almighty among um, the Zulus is unveiling nangi. So I'm asking an old Zulu, what is unveiling nangi? So he turns out, names are Nguya, Nguya, Nguya. He's a pure and holy spirit. A Gazalian is Futi Agazalwanga. He does not be gay and is not begotten. Futi Agugnutolo Pananai. I said, Have you been reading the Quran? So what's that? No, no, he never heard the Quran. He never heard the name Quran. But he's giving me what I gave you from Surah Ikhlas. He's giving me the translation of Surah Ikhlas in his language. He's a Muslim. I go to the Sudan. I learned the language of the Dinka before going. Amazing thing, you know. The Sudanese people don't know the language of the Dinka. Like we here, you live among the Zulus and you don't know Zulus. You should be ashamed of ourselves, I tell you. You live among the Zulus, you do business with the Zulus and you don't know Zulu, there's something wrong with you. I go to Sudan on a lecture tour and before going I learned the language of the Dinka. John Garan. And the Sudanese Muslims are at war. It's been on for years now. So, I learned the language of the Dinka. And now I want to practice. As soon as I land there in Khartoum, at the hotel, I go to the reception and say, you know, I was trying to learn your language. No, that's a hobby with me. No, it's a hobby with me. I learn different languages. I can give you 20 different languages now standing here. 20 different languages. Besides Zulu and Afrikaans. 20 different languages. Swahili, French, Spanish. Indonesian, Malaysian, come on man, talk. What language? Hebrew! What language do you want to hear? No, <laughs> that's a hobby with me. So whenever I go to a new country, I learn the language of the people. So I learn the Dinka language. So I go to the guys, and I say, you know, I learned your language. I said, yes. I said, listen, see if I'm doing it all right. I said, Apiata Batin, we are eat, Apiati no no quick, Tijal and Nasha Jil, Kedujil Ashibu, Inu no quick, Kunala, Kikabatu, Inu no quick. He said, no, that's not, not, not my language. That's the language of that guy, that Dunga. <laughs> that, uh, uh, the Potter, the Potter. He was standing there called African. This is the language of that guy there. So I go to him. I said, you know, I come from South Africa and I learned here.